Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Now this is the first lecture on in the series of positive thinking, and we are going to explore our relationship with God. We came to this world alone, we live alone. If one fails to develop a relationship with one's creator, then all relationships fade away. They don't matter. If this relationship is established, then all other relationships survive. And Allah Mekwal in this connection says, the wealth of the world and all relationships are figments of imagination. The only reality is that there is no God except Allah. Which he states in Urdu in this way, and Baba Bula Shah in his poetry says, Pad Pad Kitaba in Diya, Tu Na Rakliya Kazi, Hatwich Pad Kitalwa, Na Rakliya Kazi, Makke Madine Kumaya Te Na Rakliya Haji, O Bulia Hasil Kikita, De Tu Rabna Kita Razi. So from this it is very clear that all relationships will remain intact if the primary relationship is kept intact. That is, if you believe in God and if you try to conform to his rules and regulations, then all other relationships will remain intact. And that is why in the Quran it is mentioned that those who are able to maintain this relationship, they will be successful. They will have Fawzul Azim, the great triumph. And those who are not able to maintain this relationship, then there will be Khusran e Mubin, a sheer loss where they will lose their family, they will lose all those who were dear to them. Because they were not able to maintain this basic relationship, this primary relationship. Mumtaz Mufti in his book, Kalash, writes, Develop friendship with God or companionship with him, but don't make him your beloved. He is a very lovable friend and companion. Follow his orders, pray five times daily, but these five times prayers will not be sufficient for making him a companion. If you want companionship with him, hold his finger all the time. When you see a beautiful flower, say, what beauty have you created? When you see a cow, do not see it superficially. Say, what a wonderful spring of pure milk God has created. So human intellect has been given to man to reflect and to marvel at the beauty of the creation. We must use it in that way. Then he continues to say, do not observe anything without his reference. When you sit down for your daily meals, thank him for the delicious food that he has given you. All the rem time remain mindful of his presence. Be thankful for the favors that he has generously bestowed upon you. You can talk to him about your problems and worries, but as a friend and not as a stranger. If you consider him as your friend, he will act so. If you consider him a stranger, he will behave so. Now in this context, I would like to say that it, first of all, we have got to give him top priority. God is available to every believer. If God is given the right protocol, if the believer gives him top priority in life. Then there is a prayer, uh, and I have translated into English, which says, Oh my Lord, I request you to grant me a high opinion of yourself under all circumstances, and to have honest intention and full trust in you. Now when we talk of this, then there should be one thing which should be kept very clear in mind. If there is a superficial thought and then there is a sponsoring thought that is what you really truly believe in not what you express through your words there should be no conflict or dissonance between your expressed view about allah and the underlying or sponsoring feeling that is inside if you are convinced that he is your friend he will be your friend simply saying that he is your friend but not believing in it that will take you nowhere. So there should be full integrity of what is expressed and what is felt. Now, 
Teach me some skill, my friend, the weaver. I have often seen you weaving. When a thread breaks or finishes, you pick up the loose end, tie it up, and resume the process of weaving. In your weaving, none can detect a knot. I also once wove a single relationship, but all its knots are visible, my friend, the weaver. Now, this is in an allegorical sense, symbolic sense, that the connection is in the form of a thread. And if it breaks, then you have to tie the knot again. You have to restore that connection. Sometimes we are sinful in our actions. Rather, most of the time we are sinful. And we somehow or the other offend our Lord. Then we must restore, you see, the connection. We must tie the knot which was broken because of our sins. You must remember with God we are ba hakikat, and without God we are be hakikat. And uh, let me read out the Urdu uh, verses. Mushko bhi tarkeeb sikha koi yar jula hai. Aksar tujko dekha hai ke tana bunte jab koi taga toot gaya ya khatm hua. Phir se baand ke aur sirya koi jod ke isme aage bunne lagte ho. तेरे इस ताने में लेकिन एक भी गांठ गिरा बुंतर की देख नहीं सकता है कोई मैंने एक बार बुना था एक ही रिश्ता लेकिन इसकी सारी गिरहें साफ नजर आती हैं मेरे यार जुला व्हाट इट मींस इज व्हाट इट सिग्निफाइज दैट कि अल्लाह के साथ अपने तल्लक को जोड़े रखे टूट जाए तो फिर से गिरे बांध के उस तल्लक को कायम और दائم रखे اللہ تعالیٰ ہمیں توفیق عطا فرمائے کہ ہم اللہ کے ساتھ جو تعلق ہے اس کو ہمیشہ جوڑے رکھیں ناؤ دس از نور لیلی اسپننگ آن دی اسپننگ لوم ویونگ تھریڈ اینڈ دس اگین شوڈ ڈپکس یو سی دی سیم آئیڈیا وچ آئی پریزینٹیڈ ارلی اینڈ ان بھگوت گیتا اللہ تعالیٰ فرماتے ہیں کہ آئی ایم دی سیم ٹو آل بینگز آئی فیور نان اینڈ آئی ہیٹ نان But those who worship me devotedly, they live in me and I in them. And God says, those who strive in our cause, we will certainly guide them to our paths. For verily, Allah is with those who do right. And Allah Ta'ala has said this, has said this, that whoever will try to reach me, I will give it to him. Then I will give it to him. Because Allah is with those who حق کے اوپر رہنے والوں کے ساتھ ہے یا جو نیک عمل کرتے ہیں اس کے ساتھ ہے اور ان پہ آئی وڈ سے دس پریئر وچ از فرام سورہ القصص ورس 24 اٹ واز سیڈ بائی دی پروفٹ موزس رب انی لما انزلت علی من خیر فقیر او مائی لارڈ ٹرولی آئی ایم ان نیڈ اف وٹ ایور Good you bestow upon me. Thank you very much. Jazakallah.